doing tonight. Um, in my opinion, the audience should always be as important as the actors. So tonight, I want you guys to get hyped up. I want you guys to be excited. I want you guys to participate. All right, can I get a hell yeah? Exciting. Uh, have I asked someone to go with me? Yes, I have. Did they say yes? I'm not telling you guys. Um, why am I not telling you guys? Well, in case you don't know, well, if you don't know me, two things. One, hi, I'm Tom, sex Asian male, I am service. Uh, number two, um, I am a man of mystery. Uh, I like to create in air of intrigue around me, wherever I go. Um, so therefore I will not be telling you guys whether or not she said yes or no. Makes me seem more interesting that way. Yeah, she said no. Um, and yeah, I believe she's in the audience tonight, which makes us all the more fun. Um, but all this, means, all this means is just that I'll be rocking prom Han style, solo. How are y'all doing tonight? Model of Love Show. We've got some awesome performers for you guys tonight. Can I get a hand for the awesome performers here? Stand by the Thank you very much. Most of the people here tonight are here to talk about stuff that they're brave to talk about. Dark things like racism, abuse, prejudice, injustice. Yep. I'm here to talk about why I think folders are stupid. Um, you guys know folders? Those friggin' paper holding, useful as hell, makes you organize pieces of shit. Um, yeah. I'm well aware that the majority of Americans are huge fans of folders, and I'm sure that most of you guys are too. Well, tonight I'm gonna change your mind. Y'all ready? All right, number one, for one, folders are deadly weapons. Uh -huh. For those of you who feel queasy at the sight of mortal wounds, please look away now. But you guys see this on my elbow? Yeah. So that, yeah, folder attack. Uh -huh. All right, I'm just kidding. I got this when I fell off the stage during a dress but, but, but the point is that it could, it could happen. Sides of folders, paper cuts, nasty stuff. When you use a folder, you put, yourself instantly, you put yourself instantly at risk of multiple lacerations, if not on your hands, on your arms. So that's not worth it. Uh, one of my friends is a die-hard folder fan. And quite a while ago, she challenged me to go a week using folders. I was like, bet, let's do it. Uh, I'll show you just how terrible folders are. So I sauntered over to the local Myers. Uh, walked to the folder aisle and I couldn't believe my eyes. These things are expensive. <laughs> what what are they what are they expecting? Freaking Bill Gates to come strolling through buying their expensive ass folders? It's like they're freaking a buck and fifty cents. Who has the money for that? <laughs> Guys, I work at a Jimmy John's, I get paid below minimum wage. It's hard. Hard times, especially in this economy. I don't know, I don't... I'm a macroeconomics, but I get a D in my class right now. So, uh, I don't know, okay. Um, so I'm not, I'm not spending the hard-earned money on these friggin' safety hazards, and especially not for a challenge with a girl who uses way too many dot dot dots in her texts. If you guys want ellipses, you know it's like? She, she can say something, she can say something super innocent, like, hey, how's it going? And it'll sound like the most sinister death threat you've ever received. You know what I'm saying? It's horrible. She's the most, it makes her seem like the most passive aggressive thing ever. She's not like that in real life. She's a little bit like that in real life. Um, yeah, she's mostly like that in real life. Uh, you know, you know, 
I feel like I feel like saying stuff like that about her is one of the many reasons why she said no when I asked her to come. Uh, sorry, hydration. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. Um, so, but guys, asking someone's a problem. Problem is hard. As a, <laughs> as long as the problem is hard, those of you who have gone through it can can what's the word? Attest. No, no, no. Start with like an R. Can relate. Can relate. Can relate, <laughs> relate with me, guys. Those of you who have it, go and learn today. Um, the main issue, the main issue is not the actual doing it. This is a simple yes or no question. The main issue is what build, what, what's gonna happen afterwards. All right, there are many different scenarios. One, she could say yes, or she could uh, slap me. She could uh, land a kick right in the family jewels. Um, she could suddenly reveal she is a man. Uh, she could aim for the nearest window, take a running jump, dive through it, Mission Impossible style. Uh, she could change her name to Hasita, move to Tijuana, Mexico, and spend the rest of her days in wealth as a drug cartel boss. <laughs> so, or she could say, yes, we go, we have a great time, but I'm a senior, I'm out here in two months, moving to an out-of-state out college, she's a junior, uh, no point in emotionally investing myself in something that'll never work out, or more importantly, someone who doesn't feel the same way. Woo! Things got a little bit real in here for a second. Uh, this is a comedy show, we can't have that. Uh, maybe we can. I'm, as we, this is nearing the end of my bit up here. So as we near the end, I thought I'd get a little bit serious because um, if you think, if you think that, it's life changing. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Okay, um, if, uh, if you think I can be funny and make a point at the same time and vastly overestimate my abilities. Um, yeah, um, I love doing this. I love being up here at comedy. Um, because simply put, it makes me happy. And especially in this world, uh, that, that simple act, that simple fact of being happy can be so fucking hard. And, uh, like if you go up to a depressed person, tell them, cheer up. Uh, it's basically the same thing as going to a blind person, telling them, look on the bright side. Uh, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, that's not how it works. And um, like everybody in here, all of you guys, all of you guys, me, we've all had serious problems in our lives in some way or another. Um, like for years, I've battled mental illness to this day, I'm still on three different kinds of medication for it, and I probably will be for the rest of my life. Uh, but basically, comedy is how I cope. Like the idea that I can come up here, uh, tell you guys a couple of jokes, make all of you guys laugh, make me laugh. Um, it's incredible, and like the the ability to just push past your problems and just laugh. Young words. Love you, Alan. Thank you. Uh, now we can't end on that. This is supposed to be a comedy show. I have bits of it. It's a little bit of bread. So before I go, I got one, just one last bit for you guys. Just one short bit. Um, senioritis hit me in the freshman year. Uh, this was an issue because I was on the speech team at the time and I procrastinated so much on my speeches that by the time the tournament actually rolled around, I had nothing written. I didn't even have a subject picked out. So basically, what my strategy was was just to show up at the tournament and just wing the hell out. <laughs> basically, this is how I live my life anyway, so I'm just like, let's do it. Um, how, did, how did that tournament go? Not tell you guys. <laughs> see, I 
am a man of mystery. That's all I got for you guys tonight.